Welcome back to Newswatch, folks. A couple of photos from you, the viewer. Lori sent this from Beckley, and you can see some billowing cumulonimbus clouds, which eventually led to a thunderstorm. And Louise sent this photo from Fayetteville, the sun shining through those cumulus clouds. And this is the picture of the day, Goldie from uh, Oak Hill. You can see the dark clouds in the background. There was some rain, thunder, and lightning for a while in Oak Hill, and that storm has since moved west into Charleston. Now, we do have cooling centers open in the Charleston area. These are the lists of the ones that are open. Now that continues through Friday as we have the excessive heat or this heat wave continuing across the region. The storms have moved west towards Charleston and we are seeing clear skies across the region or clearing skies. High pressure building in and this is the same high pressure that's going to continue to expand west and bring us even hotter temperatures as we go throughout the day. Our temperatures are generally in the muggy low 70s across the region. That's the way it's going to stay for most of the night. The heat is building across the plains and this is the heat that's heading in our direction. So tonight any thunder will be ending no later than 11:45 or midnight. But there will be some fog in the river valleys with temperatures dropping just a few degrees into the upper 60s. 90 tomorrow. The high was 88 at the Beckley Airport. We are going to add two more degrees tomorrow. And there's a 25% risk of a thunderstorm. When I say west, I'm talking about the far western part of Nicholas, Fayette, Raleigh, all the way down to McDowell. The rest of the area will stay completely dry as we get this high pressure move in. This high pressure continues to expand across the east going forward through the week. So the peak of the heat wave will be Thursday and Friday before thunderstorms roll in. The first potential on Saturday, better potential for widespread storms on Sunday and Monday. And then we cool it off a degree or two and then we warm it right, right back up well into the upper 80s again. So summer is definitely here for a while. Tuesday, it will be a bit breezy out of the southeast. We didn't see that much wind today, but at least the wind during the day, it's going to be a warm and hot wind like blown out of an oven, but at least there's going to be some movement of air. The humidity a notch lower than today, but temperatures a notch warmer. Wednesday, the dew points will be a notch lower, but our t temperatures itself will be in the lower 90s and Thursday light wind and muggy. So breaking down the details of the heat wave there going forward Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We have this potential tropical cyclone one the, basically the National Hurricane Center labels it a potential tropical cyclone when they believe it could become a depression or a tropical storm. But this storm is heading into Mexico but it's going to drive some very heavy rain into the southern parts of Texas. Our seven day forecast then 90 degrees all the way through Saturday, 30% chance of a gusty storm on Saturday, but more widespread activity on Sunday and Monday as we drop back down into the mid 80s. So that's your forecast. Again, brace yourself because a long lived heat wave means you can't let your guard down each day. You've got to plan your day around this if you're doing activities outside again before 9 a.m and definitely after six or seven o'clock is your best shot if you do not want to suffer from a heat stroke. That's your seven day forecast. We are back with more news after the break.